And while we are done with Francine, we are still very much in the heart of hurricane season and a few other areas that we will keep a watch of, but none seem to be threatening the Gulf Coast. There's one that looks to be a little bit closer to us off the East Coast. This is an area that isn't even there yet, but highlighting the potential of maybe something in the next three to seven days. In fact, that little feature might help us out in the coming days. I'll talk more about that in a moment. We also have Invest 94. Notice the highlighted area pretty small. It's a small or low possibility of development reason that the hurricane center declared it an invest is so models can be run on it ended up right now a fairly low end chance of developing and looks like it might kind of scoot north of the audience. We also have tropical depression seven way out there. A lot of time to watch it. Most long range models keep it out over the Atlantic. The next name after Francine would be Gordon. We are under clearing skies outside. That has been the trend all day today as Francine moves northward. Still kind of the broad circulation allowing for some cloudiness to move in from the west and even some of that moisture out of the southwest, but that's all staying to our east. So right now, great visibility, much different night tonight as that drier air has started to move in aloft and eventually down to the surface. And that is all because of the kind of overall circulation around what is left of Francine. Francine no longer a named tropical system, so it's kind of beyond even the remnants of all the rainfall, though, moving into Memphis and will still be a very heavy rainmaker for areas across the uh, more central Mississippi. Mississippi Valley. That system is moving on, but in its wake, we will see a little reinforcement of northerly winds. North and northwest will help to bring in some drier air. Now, I had mentioned in earlier newscast that kind of what is left of that circulation may try and move back southward. Not expecting anything to develop, but it may be a little bit of instability that helps to start bringing back a few showers, especially to our east by Sunday and on into Monday. But it also looks like it will keep that northerly wind in place. So I do think the lower humidity will be on the horizon. Maybe not tomorrow, but certainly by Saturday. And we're not talking about a significant drop in humidity, but enough that it'll make it feel a little bit more comfortable with everyone probably outdoors either today, tomorrow, and certainly into the weekend cleaning up. It won't feel all that bad. So again, as this low gets a little closer to us, maybe close enough to help trigger a few showers, but more than anything, help to keep that low humidity in place. And then that other feature I was mentioning that is being highlighted by the Hurricane Center actually may try and rotate around the remnants of uh, Francine and then keep that northerly flow in place right through most of next week. So good news is it doesn't look like we're going to surge of that tropical moisture back for at least the next seven to 10 days. And some of the long range models have an eventual real cold front moving through. We'll just have to wait a little bit longer. That rain chance being triggered by that disturbance only about 20 to 30 percent. Dew points not terrible. It's definitely not a dew point of 42 at Raceland, but lower 70s doesn't feel terrible especially where we've been so much this summer, but drier air with dew points in the 60s, not too far away from us, and they will be moving southward during the day tomorrow, probably late, and then uh, hanging with us right through the weekend in the 70s or around 80 degrees, and we may get a little bit of a drop in the dew points to allow for some upper 60s on the North Shore come tomorrow morning. Winds are very light, very quiet evening. We need a stretch of drier weather, and thankfully we are going to get it. High temperatures into the mid, maybe upper 80s. So yes, still warm, but a little less humid. Not a bad feel that will take us right through uh, the weekend and most of next week.